Um, a questioner says, can one make tayammum in extreme cold for fard ghusl? This question is frequently asked, especially from people in Europe and Canada. <clears throat> and some of them even ask if we are allowed to have intimacy with our spouses when it's so cold. So can we skip ghusl? And if we cannot skip ghusl, can we skip intimacy or is it permissible? It is not permissible to skip ghusl with water when you're able to perform ghusl with water. The only way that you can perform tayammum instead of ghusl is when <coughs> is when you do not have water it doesn't exist or you're unable to use water due to your illness or due to being hazardous to your health the vast majority like 99.9% .9 don't have a problem on their lives because they are not using cold icy water to perform ghusl rather they just don't want to face the hardship of drying themselves or getting in this cold weather to the toilet and having a shower and this is not a legitimate reason you can always heat the water you can always heat the toilet or the bathroom so that you can have your ghusl and you can always dry yourself immediately afterwards and put a towel on your head so that you won't catch any cold but if there is serious hazard to your health meaning that you cannot use water and if you do you will 110 percent fall ill because of this and you fear for your life in this case yes you may perform tayammum